so many people have been having troubles with thread nesting on their Berninas. And uh, I have the 770, so I'm not sure about threading, etc. on the other, the 8 series and uh, everything below the 7 series. But I think this will run true across the board. Um, however your machine is threaded, you must be sure that it is threaded correctly. So consult your manual or your dealer. And especially if you're a new Bernina owner, make sure you have the bobbin and your top thread threaded correctly. And one of the main things to remember, and I'm gonna move you up here so you can see my thread. If you can do it. And you see I have my spool right up against the foam pad. You'll put that on your spool first and then you'll put your thread on and you'll use an appropriate size thread cap and push it down tight. Your thread spool should not turn. Only your thread should come off the spool. So that's something really important to remember. And now let me get you back down here and we'll get it all settled in. And I am making a necessary clutch wallet. This pattern comes from Emmeline Bags, and I'm working on the card slots. Um, so uh, we're just gonna do a little top stitching on that. And I'm gonna show you how you should not see any thread nesting or catching on the underside. So I've pulled up my bobbin thread. I am not using my thread cutter and I have on a quarter inch foot, but I'm gonna do a one eighth inch uh, top stitch. So to avoid thread nesting, hold your threads, make sure your machine's threaded right with the foam pad, the spool isn't turning, and start on the fabric. And you watch my threads and you won't see them move at all. If it's gonna have a thread nest, you'll see it pull it under on the bobbin thread. So we'll stitch across here and you won't see these threads move at all. I'm do my top stitch all the way across and the card pockets go up both back and front sides of the interior of the wallet that I'm making. So I have two sets of card slots that I'm making at the same time. It saves a few minutes. And so I'm going to stop when I get to the end with my needle down, and then I'm gonna take my second set of card slots and put them under my needle and take on off and go on the other side. And in a minute, we'll take these off and I'll show you there is absolutely zero thread nesting. Get across here. And when I'm done, I'm not going to use my thread cutter it is engaged, but I don't want to use it. So I'm going to hit my presser foot up and my needle up and just pull this out and trim the threads. And I'll trim the threads at the beginning and I'll separate my card slots. And well, let's have a look. So we'll turn these over. And there is zero thread nesting. Every stitch is just as nice as it can be. No thread nesting. Let's look at the other one. This is the back side. No thread nesting here either. 
So make sure that you have your um, machine threaded properly, your bobbin threaded properly. Make sure you're using the correct size needle for the thread that you're using in the project that you are working on. And hold your threads, hold them to the left, or I mean to the right, not to the back, hold them to the right. Start your stitching on the fabric. Hope this helps. Give it a try.